An excellent use for VitaScene is to use it on your titles, and I'll show you this in the following lesson. I've prepared a title, VitaScene, and I'll change to my effect palette, and I'll place the VitaScene effect on my title by taking it from the effects library in the ProDat video filters folder. To start with, the standard settings are used, which in this case is somewhat uninteresting. If I wanted to color the title, I could simply use the titler. So I'll open the filter dialog, and as you can see, we have a multitude of possibilities, some of which we've learned before. What we do notice is that not all filters are particularly useful when used with titles. And so there are some special title ones. This one has a very subtle effect. And on this one, we can see the rays are a little bit easier to see. This one would, for example, be useful with the title. So I'll activate it. And we can see that the transparent section is also interpreted correctly. This looks very good. It's also useful in combination with titles. And as we might be using this with titles quite often, there is a separate folder for these effects. And we find this in the filter group text logo plus rays. And here, there are certain predefined filters that are especially useful for titles. For example, this one here. Sometimes you really do have to save it so that you can see how it works on your video material. In this one, the light rays are a little bit too weak. And so I can now go and edit. I'll deactivate keyframes again. And I could, for example, lengthen the rays here. Even if the slider only goes up to 30, I can type in a higher value here. The intensity could be interesting. In this case, on a title with a black border, it's not so relevant. So once again, just experiment somewhat. This parameter hardly seems to change anything. The intensity of the original scene I'd like to have at 100%. And the glow I can turn up somewhat. And yes, it looks pretty interesting. So I'll save this so that I can see it with the original image. And this one is quite a spectacular effect when combined with a title. We could imagine that this would be even nicer if the effect wasn't static but was actually animated. And to animate this effect, I'll go back into the settings. I've mentioned this previously, that for an animation to take place, the keyframes parameter has to be active. And in my case, it is. And now I change the position pointer in VitaScene right to the beginning. And I do this by sliding the position pointer with my left mouse button all the way to the left, so to the beginning of the title. And right at the bottom of the settings for this filter, I find the horizontal position slider. I'll change this all the way to the left. And now I'll go a little bit further. And I can see that the light source moves all the way to the end, which is its starting position. If I stop this VitaScene timeline at another position, for example, all the way to the right, then a new symbol appears. And this is a new keyframe. And the position of this light source shouldn't be here in the middle, but should be right at the end. That's not a problem. I simply move the keyframe to the end. And now we've created an animation in which the light source will move from left to right throughout the duration of the title. Once again, save the project. And now I have my title animation and it looks pretty spectacular. To make it even more elegant, I could of course blend in the title at the beginning and at the end. And to do this, I'll simply use the standard EDIUS transition. So, transition, 2D, and then I'll use this dissolve. I'll position it at the beginning of the title, I'll make it somewhat shorter, and then we can see the title fades in whilst the light source moves. 
I'll make the blend somewhat longer. And of course, at the end, I can also blend the title out. And so we've created quite a spectacular title. And so I'd like to close this chapter on Vita Scene 1, which is included with Edius. I think we've seen that the Vita Scene plugin is really a nice piece of software, and it's certainly worth the effort to look through the effects and possibilities of it. As an addition to this, in the following lesson, I'd like to present the newest version of Vita Scene, and this is Vita Scene 2. Vita Scene 2 does not come with Edius and has to be purchased as an update, but it does offer a whole row of new functions and new features. And so I'd like to show you a couple in the following lesson.